So, while doing my dead hangs or passive hangs and active hangs uh, to help my back and uh, as far as like decompression and other issues in my shoulders and whatnot, I did notice that my lower back wasn't quite getting the same uh, impact as my middle to upper back. I was still having issues in my lower back and in my hips. So it was suggested to me by my doctor to try an inversion table. Given my height, I'm 6'4", I just don't think that the hanging was really getting down there. Um, and so I was like, okay, I've seen those. I didn't quite know the benefits or really the purpose. I guess I knew that it was meant for that, but I, you know, I don't know, maybe I thought it was like voodoo or you know, total BS. But then when it was recommended to me, I was like, you know, let me go ahead and give this a shot. So what I got was a teeter inversion table. Now there's a lot of inversion tables out there uh, and they can get pretty expensive, but I mean, I don't really know what else you add to an inversion table. So a $200, $300 inversion table is probably all you need. I think the one I had was a couple hundred dollars. The inversion table is set by height. I was worried about that given that I'm 6'4". I didn't think that it would be able to hold me, but, it, I, but the one I have, I think it goes up to almost 6'10". So you set the inversion table by height and then you go. Okay, so I was cooking uh, dinner real quick, but I need to stop and say this. So this is day one and we just got the inversion table put together and I really didn't know, you know, I was just kind of playing around with it just to kind of see. I figured it was pretty simple. You just hang upside down. But um, it, I went too far and hung almost completely upside down, fully inverted. Uh, so I put the strap on and then I hung about 60 degrees. Uh, but I swear I wasn't on there for more than maybe, maybe, maybe it was more than two or three minutes, but they say you should start at two minutes and now I know why, but I, I don't think I was on that thing for more than three minutes. Uh, but man, my head, you know, I started cooking dinner and I, I think that was close to almost 40 something minutes ago and my head is throbbing. My eyes are burning. I have the worst headache. I got dizzy and I'm nauseous and, um, so I started looking up other videos and kind of doing the research and they were saying how you shouldn't, you should ease your way into 60 degrees, which is like optimal. And then I don't even know if it's necessary to go fully inverted, like completely upside down, to be honest with the way I'm feeling right now. I don't, I will never hang completely upside down. I think I'm going to go back to maybe 30 degrees for a while. And then after that, maybe brave back up to 60 degrees. But man, I, I have the worst headache, man. And given the fact that I have pressure in my eyes already because I have prosthetics in both of my eyes. Uh, they say if you have glaucoma or high blood pressure that you shouldn't, um, uh, you should seek, uh, excuse me, talk to your physician before doing an inversion table. So that kind of scared me a little bit. So I was going to do this every day to uh, loosen up my lower back. But honestly, I, I think maybe I'm just going to drop it down to three times a week given like what I'm feeling right now. Uh, as I'm sitting down talking, man, I'm having a hard time holding this phone. So. I mean, I probably will get used to it, uh, but man, this is very uncomfortable. So <clears throat> this is day four. Uh, bye. I'd say by day three, the nausea started to subside. And finally today, um, when I come rotate back up after hanging, I'm not feeling the nausea at all. But it, man, it was lingering for a while. Uh, but here I am day four, and um, my cycle is three minutes. I do still one minute, 15 second rest, second minute, 15 second rest, and then a third minute. I don't see the need, nor have I tried since day one to go beyond uh, the 60%. And that seems to work just fine, uh, just like my doctor advised. But man, here we are day four. Um, and on top of the pretty much immediate relief I feel in my lower back and in my hips, when I roll back forward, you have to be cognizant of the fact that, man, there's a, your back was just, you know, in traction. So when you come back up, your back aches for a split second because everything's coming back together. So, you know, sometimes you get out pretty quick, but you just take your time, all right? But outside of that, I'm day four, and man, I'm a believer. This this thing is working, and I'm just glad that the, 
the blood in my head and, and the nausea that was caused by that and all that stuff, I'm glad that that's starting to subside. I'm glad I stuck with it and I'm glad I decided to do it every day instead of every few days. So here we are a week later, okay? So I did it for seven days. Um, the first day had me rethinking things as I mentioned, but seven days later, guys, I have to say this thing really works. It really helped. Um, do I need to do it every day? I think maybe I can get away with doing it every other day, but I think doing it every day, dependent on the pain that you're experiencing in your lower back, um, you could do it every day. I'm telling you, like the relief I feel is immediate. I wake up with lower back pain. I recently had to buy a new mattress. I'm doing all these things to try to just mitigate the amount of pain that I experience. And through the new mattress, doing the dead hangs, um, and getting the inversion table and all the other recovery things that I already do and all the stretches, I feel like I'm, I'm getting as close to 100% as I've ever been. I think the last piece of the puzzle was, was that inversion table to really uh, decompress my lower spine and my hips. So if you've been considering it, I think you should really uh, get it. Now it does take up quite a bit of space. I did put it up in our bedroom, but I have to like fold it away every day. That's, eh, that's a bit of, I wish I could just leave it open and climb into it, but it's not a small piece of equipment. Also, man, be careful what you consume as far as like content and information. Some people in my other video um, made comments about getting those boots and clipping to my hanging bar, hanging upside down like Michael Keaton and Batman. That is not necessary and I think it could be of detriment, uh, you know, given different medical type stuff and just having all that blood rush directly to your head. I've, I learned over this week that a 60% or like this kind of angle is probably the perfect angle. Any more than that can be excessive. And as far as I know at this point, it is unnecessary. And then other people keep bringing up, you know, get your boots clipped in there and start doing ab crunches upside down. And the more I looked into other videos, uh, several doctors and, and experts were saying like, don't do that when you hang upside down, twisting your body or doing ab crunches. Like that stuff is not safe. And they're saying it's just not good for you. And they don't really know if it's of benefit, to be honest. So, you know, you know take that extreme stuff out of it and just invert at a, at a decent angle. And I think you'll see the benefits you're looking for. At least I did. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.